All right, so in this part of lesson one, we're going to look at downloading and installing the Python interpreter and downloading and installing the PyCharm IDE. So let's get going. So I'm going to pull up um, a browser. You're going to search for Python download. And you get to the, uh, yeah, that's the page. Python.org is the official, um, let's go in there, is the official Python page. And right at the top, um, you will see download the latest version of Python, which is download Python. So just click on there and just scroll down all the way. So this is for Windows, so if, you, if you're using Windows, which I hope almost all of you are. So I'm going to go for Windows installer 64-bit because I've got a 64-bit Windows installed. And that's that's the version you should have you should uh, should have installed now. All right, 32 bit it's is old now. So let's click on this and it starts to download. Now I'm I'm gonna just go ahead and cancel it because I've already downloaded um, it before. So uh, let's you can either once it's, it it's it downloads you can either click on this if you have a Chrome or you can just go up and open up the file browser. File Explorer and go to the downloads, and that's where it, the downloaded files actually go. So this is my already downloaded Python 3.10.0 64-bit version. I'm just gonna double-click on that to launch it. All right, so I've got option of install now and customize installation. So install now. If you click on there, uh, it uh, it does look tempting, but it's it it stalls it in some very weird kind of path. I, mean, I don't like that. So I'm going to go to customize. Before I go on customize installation, make sure you've got both of these boxes checked. Install launcher for all users and click on add Python to the path. You know, this is, you know, you, you should do it. So um, in that way, you can open up any command uh, window and um, type in Python and you can access the, the, the Python interpreter. After that, click on the customize installation. Make sure all of these are checked. All right, pip is one of our uh, our, our very b good friend. It stands for um, package installer for Python. So we're going to use it later on to install and uninstall different packages, which will be necessary. So after that, click on next, and then I will check on all of the install for all users and download debugging and download everything. All right. Uh, important thing is this guy. It gives by default program. It tries to install under program files, but Windows doesn't let it for some reason. So I prefer to install it in the root folder of C C colon backslash. This is this is what I prefer for myself, and I I recommend you do the same. So I've got a generic Python folder in my root C colon drive. And then I've got Python 3.10 folder in there. And that way, if you if you feel like installing another version of Python interpreter, you you can actually install it under the same Python folder. So, anyways, um, recommend recommended path is this, and then just click on install. It asks for permission and say yes, and then it goes on installing. I'm going to pause the video. Uh, recording for now and then unpause after it's done installation so as to save time. All right, so uh, Python 3.10 setup successful installed, so just click close and we're good to go. Um, what you can do is um, click on the search in Windows uh, 10 and then type cmd to to launch the command prompt which comes up over there all right and okay in this command prompt window you can type in python dash dash hyphen hyphen version and hit enter and it should if it's installed properly and it's if it's accessible should give you the version of the Python which is 3.1.0 and this is the benefit of adding it to adding the path of this Python to the path variable of Windows so you can access it from anywhere. You can also type in just Python and it's going to launch the interpreter and this the three 
um, angular brackets or three greater than signs are the prompt for the Python and you can just go in there and type in different commands to say like um, print hello everybody and it works I can create variables a is 56 and B is uh, 4 and I can say A plus B and it gives me the answer good and A and print B shows me the variables values alright so it works um, good cool so you can type in exit followed by parentheses which is an exit function and hit enter and it takes us out of the Python interpreter now you got you're in in command prompt you can just uh, click on the cross to to finish it up or just type exit and hit enter and it goes away alright cool okay so let's go and hunt for the PyCharm ID and install that beast as well all right, so PyCharm download, and that's the ID we're going to be using for our Python development and learning. Okay, so JetBrains is the company that actually makes it. So www.jetbrains.com, and the link is already visited because I've already installed a bazillion times just for um, checking it out and recording videos. All right, so I'm going to click on that. Uh, reach the page over here now PyCharm it comes under two different types one is a professional and the other is community professional is actually paid version it comes with lots of different varieties that are not available in the free version lots of different tools and facilities they only give it a free trial for for a limited time so we're not going to go for that uh, the community version is where we're going to be downloading it's open source and free and is good enough for lots of significant development so click on download and and it's gonna start downloading any moment come on all right so it's taking some time just because um, um, where I'm sitting at the moment in my house uh, the the, the Wi-Fi is, is signal is is a bit weak, but anyways, it's gonna start downloading just like this, and I'm I, I you know I'm supposed to cancel it anyways because I already have it um, downloaded. Once it finished downloading, um, you can click on here to start install installation, or you can just in in the same way go to the uh, download folder, and there it is already downloaded. PyCharm Community Edition 2021.2.3 double click on it and it's going to start um, the installation there you go it asks for permission click on yes and very soon it's going to start yeah uh, the box let me just zoom into it come on all right so click on next and okay so it's, it's asking for destination folder i prefer to get rid of the jet brains just to shorten the path and maybe get rid of the community edition right or just type in ce for community edition just in case i happen to get my hands on the professional and i wish to install that you can keep it there all right so hit next all right um, I'll click on I'll check on add bin folder to the path important but not necessary and add open folder as project like to click on that check on dot pi uh, as create associations click on next and over here I'd just like to type in PyCharm community edition all right and hit install and it'll start stalling it's gonna take um, some time I'm gonna pause the video and unpause after it's done all right so it's done we got it installed and it asking to reboot reboot now or I mean it's better to reboot later on we're not going to do that at the moment so I'm gonna hit finish 
and that is the end of the part one of lesson 1c then the reason why I'm broken down into so many different smaller path parts is to be is to enable it these videos to be uploaded on whatsapp um, and that's very convenient okay so um, we'll move on to how to use the pie the pie charm ID in part two of lesson 1c